NVIDIA's market cap gain, what it's gaining right now is effectively, but not quite, close to double Intel's total value. Total market cap. NVIDIA yeah. is about to add two Intels. To its market cap today. To its two Intels. What happened to Intel, by the way? That's a whole separate issue. NVIDIA, meantime, scored its biggest sales and profit beat relative to analyst estimates in five years. Second quarter guidance was strong. For more, let's bring in Joseph Moore, Morgan Stanley Semiconductor Industry Analyst just raised his target to 450 from 304. And, you know, I'm not going to give you grief for, for raising it because, Joseph, I think everybody is in it. And, by the way, you're, you're going to have to raise your target probably under compliance and all this other stuff. But it seems like everybody was caught off guard. You were positive on the stock. But did anybody expect this? Or is the market reacting a little too giddily? Uh, look, I, we've never seen a quarter like this. <laughs> In 25 years of doing this across any of my coverage, it, you know, because I think it's the context that's so important, right? A quarter ago, this company was caught up in the same budget pressures of cloud spending as everyone else. They actually missed their data center number uh, for the January quarter. We first started seeing strength in March around this. And, you know, 10 weeks after that, you're sort of growing 18% sequentially and then guiding for something like 100% sequential growth in data center. It really emphasizes the shift towards AI spending, uh, the focus that all of the software and cloud companies are putting on this. And the earning power, you know, earnings power of the company has moved materially higher. So I think it's, it's a reasonable move. Uh, certainly it's an expensive stock, will continue to be, but it's also kind of rarefied territory of the one company that can put up a number like this uh, the one company in semiconductors that's beating and raising while not entirely meeting demand, uh, it's just really impressive performance. So I would say, you know, the move, as big as it is, uh, is consistent with just how good these results are. Is it worth the valuation, though? I think so. Um, you know, you're looking at now, we raised our number to about $11 of EPS for 2024, uh, which is more than double where we were. The That puts it, you know, at a multiple now, uh, you know, in the in the low mid 30s, and this is an important platform shift in the market. This is these AI investments are really the trend that you guys talk about it all day long. You know, from every cloud software company, this is really important. And there's really one company that benefits from it so much that I think to pay a multiple like that is reasonable. Now, you know, over time, there will be competition. There will be a lot to think about here, uh, but I think you know, right now, this is really. Uh, the most exciting thing we've seen in some time. And, and I think it's, uh, you know, at, at the price you're looking at, $400, you know, it's not inexpensive. It's priced like you would expect a company that offers this kind of growth to be priced at, but, you know, a very impressive kind of growth outlook and, and one that doesn't appear to be a one quarter thing. Do you cover Intel, Joseph? I do, I do. What the heck is wrong? I mean, what, what is, Becky and I have been talking about it all morning. Forget about NVIDIA. I mean, we know what's going on. They're going to add two Intels. What what happened today? <laughs> yeah, today. No, what happened? To, what's happened to Intel? Seriously, Intel inside. You're getting Intel. You're getting a Dell, bro. Whatever it was, the little <laughs> jingle. What's happened to Intel? Well, I think you know Intel has embarked on a pretty aggressive plan to pursue the foundry business, to pursue uh, you know the graphics business. They're not going to let Nvidia have this opportunity to themselves. That heavy investment leaves them in a position of, you know, not having that much near-term cash flow. So, you know, we're quite optimistic on where Intel can go over the long haul. But right now, you know, the focus, the growth that's coming from this environment is coming from AI. And I think what's really interesting here is we're not seeing this in an environment where cloud budgets are through the roof and the economy is really good and we have to worry about sustainability. It's the opposite. Cloud budgets are coming down. And so what you're actually seeing here is... No money. If the cloud hyperscale CapEx budget is being shifted over to AI, it's Does negatively it, impacting everything else. They're playing so with I, music because they want to wrap us out, but I, <laughs> I have one more question for you. Intel, sure. I mean, if you look back, I'm sorry, the, the NVIDIA stock chart, if you just looked at that, you saw the huge drop off of a cliff. Are you convinced that won't happen again? I am convinced it won't happen again. I think you have very strong underlying drivers. You know, uh, down the road, you know, we'll have to see, but I think the things that happened last year, were cryptocurrency, consumer related. The strength that we're seeing in AI is, is a fundamental trend that we see as having legs for multiple years. So, you know, I don't see it falling off like that again.